Hey everybody. Okay, so from last week's episode, you know that we are facing this massive move into this new facility. So we have to deal with bank financing, all the contractors, the remodel, the movers, switching out the utilities, and a myriad of other things that we're thinking about. But the very most important thing that we have to maintain is taking care of our clients. Now we do a ton of work for some big fish right here in Central Florida, but one of our top clients is the biggest fish of all. I mean, they don't get any bigger. Today, we're going to walk you through a sign build for a 1 million square foot facility for Amazon. Amazon hired us to do a big sign package for their new distribution center that's in Oak Creek, Wisconsin. It's actually three or four large signs that are monument signs, both that have the Amazon logo with the giant smile, as well as just one enormous eight foot by 36 foot smile. One of the challenges in doing something that's that large is we have to build it in multiple pieces. Now we have to ship it all the way to Wisconsin and then have the install hopefully go seamlessly once it gets there. Today I'm cutting out the channel letters for the Amazon backers and their 8th inch aluminum. With 8th inch aluminum you want to make sure that it's well lubricated because uh, the bits can get hot and they can melt or chip. The blade's pretty badass, it's about 20,000 RPMs as it's ripping through that aluminum. Once Dom cuts the sheet metal backer for the letter on the CNC table, we'll take that 2D flat object and weld sidewalls to the outside of it to create a 3D version and then it will house the LEDs and the ac acrylic face. So the aluminum sidewall that I use to make the letters is 063 grade, and it's reasonably soft, so it's pretty easy for me to manipulate the shape of it. It's real easy with this metal to make a radius, nice and smooth all the way around. I guess the key to making this radius really nice is I didn't pre-bend it anyway with the rollers. So I'm, as I move it around, it naturally will form on its own. It's not real stiff. When I'm welding this return to the backer, I want to make sure that it's down and right to the very edge as far as I can get it. So I use a piece of this purple sandpaper and set it underneath the edge of this, and it allows me to see just the very edge of the metal as far over as I want to weld it. Okay, another piece of metal. So after each letter is welded, the next step is to add a lip to the top of the sidewall of the letter, which is notched and has to be hand fabricated to fit the circumference and the stop edges of the letter. And it'll be at the entire top and follow the curves of the letter. Needless to say, it helps to have a ton of clamps. As Robert's finishing up the building of the Amazon Smile, we wanted to get a feel for how large that sign's really gonna be. Holy crap, and that's just the smile. It's eight feet tall, 36 feet long, and it's the largest smile that we've ever built. The next process with these letters is they'll be caulked to become watertight. They'll end up going to paint and becoming black on the outside, white on the inside. It'll get LEDs when it comes back out of there. Then we will put an inch and a half metal retainer across the entire face that's screwed to the side so that the faces can almost virtually never come off. This is a center retainer for the letter A. We will weld a metal retainer to the outside of this. This is a metal retainer that'll be welded to hold the face on the cabinet. The screws are gonna go through this piece of metal, right on through, drilled and tapped, and virtually never come off. The retainer holds the face onto the actual cabinet. And it, ultimately, it's what you see when you're looking at the, the front of the, the sign. Without the retainer, the, the face won't stay in. It'll just be an empty can. I'm just going to get a pre-bend on it so that it's not fighting me in this curve. And it's kind of all by, it's all by eye and all by feel. The curve isn't the issue. It's just the distortion you can get from welding it. The heat will pull this whole thing in. You know, because welding shrinks the metal on the side of the weld. You got to kind of work in sections and let it cool down. You know, I'll go through and I'll tack the retainer around a good five or six inches apart and then let that completely cool down before I start welding on it or I end up twisting and distorting the, the retainer and it won't even go on the cabinet. 
After these get welded, they'll go to prep. The faces will all get polished because everywhere there's a tack weld, you can see it on the other side. These are exactly what we're taking off. You can actually see them if you can get a glare on them. Every single little weld that's underneath puts little puckers on the top. So this is what you see the most. It's like the crown molding on your house. It's the finished part. So it's got to be nice and clean, and you have to watch which way you plane it because you want the material to go inside. So as the wheel turns, you want the material to go inside, not outside. It turns out really nice that way. Everything that we fabricate ultimately has to be sanded and prepped for paint, then primed and painted. After paint, it's all hands on deck to install the LEDs throughout each letter and the Amazon Smiles. The next step for the Amazon project, since we've already cut out the backers, will be to cut the acrylic faces. This is a 3 16 cast white acrylic, and we use a 3 16 bit to cut it. Uh, it's a little bit thinner of a material, so I can go faster with the bit, which is fun to see how far I can push the table sometimes. Today we're working on putting the vinyl on the acrylic for the Amazon sign. We're going to be using 3M's 3635 dual color black and white film. What makes this stuff great is it's perforated, allowing the light to shine through at night, therefore making this black during the day and white at night. But with the ink applied to the front and the white on the back, it really makes for a bright sign. Some of 3M's competitors use a black backer in smaller holes, therefore making it a dull sign. You can see the difference. We're gonna get all that light that's bouncing around inside that can of that sign, shooting out through these holes. The sign is gonna appear dark during the day when the light source is in front of the letters. At night, when the light is behind, blowing out through these holes, the sign is gonna be white, nice and bright, as if this wasn't even on top. To get this clean as possible. We just want to get a straight seam on this, make it as least visible as possible. Well, this is made to be used in conjunction with backlit sign and stuff is so easy to work with. We use a soft-sided squeegee called an Oshi. That way we have no hard edges catching in any of these little holes. It makes for a nice installation, nice and smooth. That pretty. It's just pretty straightforward. You're not going to get bubbles because it's full of holes. There's half an A. Now comes the fun. Unfortunately, these letters are so big, we've got to put a seam right through the A. But we can minimize the visibility if we line up all of these holes. All right, seam is right here. Got about a half inch overlap. That was the hardest part of this whole letter. That's an Amazon A. At this stage of building the Amazon letters, we are going to put the face on that has perforated vinyl on it to black it out during the day and then screw on a metal retainer. So the first thing that I want to do is test it before I put the face on it to make sure electrically everything is working. And it looks nice. Nice and bright white. That's good. So because this cabinet is painted with this super brilliant white on the inside, these lights are going to reflect against the white, shine on the back of the face, which light will bounce back and forth, back and forth through here. It's going to be extremely bright. Ready for an A. That's it. <laughs> I found my A-hole. <laughs> That's not cursing, is it? <laughs> The 
Yeah. And I love it when a plan comes together. This arrowhead is part of the Smile logo for Amazon. It has blue vinyl on it, which is now Amazon Prime Blue, which it used to be apricot. Now they've changed over to the Prime Blue and they're easily identifiable from quite a distance. But now comes the stressful part. We've got to ship all these massive signs 3,000 miles to Wisconsin on a flatbed without getting destroyed. Wow. I never like to hear the word signs and destroyed in the same sentence. Now they got me stressing. Hey, something's wrong. You're gonna blow the face out. And make sure you watch the next episode where we load that bad boy up on a flatbed semi truck and ship it all the way to Wisconsin. Thank you for watching the Media One Wrap This YouTube channel. If you like it, hit subscribe and the like button and make sure you leave some comments for our guys to let them know you appreciate what they're doing.